Hi everyone, John here, and today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Destination two bike bike rack on our 2021 Jeep Gladiator. This is gonna be a great bike rack if you wanna take two bikes to and fro the trail without having to worry about those heavier and bulkier bike racks. Now going over some of the features, uh, considering this is a more affordable bike rack, it's not gonna have some of the features you may know with other platform styles. Like the tilt-away, it doesn't have that. Uh, and as you can see with how close it gets to the vehicle, you're not gonna be able to open up your back hatch very much just to right about here with the bike on there still enough to get in there and grab a couple things but you're not going to have tilt away it's also going to have a lower weight capacity some, than some other platform styles it's going to have 35 pounds per bike that's going to be great for your mountain bikes and your road bikes but let's say you want to get an electric style it won't be able to hold that at all now the way that it's going to be held onto your bike is these wheel straps right here and on your back wheel, along with a frame strap right here. So that's another thing. It's not gonna be able to handle your women's bikes that may be odd shaped, or let's say carbon frame bikes, because it could damage the actual frame itself. So that's something to keep in mind. But the other thing is going to be very light. You can pick it up with one hand, move it around, put it up on higher levels if you need to. Uh, so that's kind of one of the trade-offs whenever it comes to the Hollywood destination. Another advantage to keep in mind is considering it is lighter, it's easier to get your bike off and get the pieces out of the way and ready to go. So let's show you that right now. So as you can see this strap up front, it's gonna have this very easy to take off. And we're gonna actually take the frame off here, making sure we at least have one piece of contact can get stuck a little bit if you're doing this one-handed, so that's always something to keep in mind. And as we get the rest of it off, it is at a height that makes it where, at least on our Gladiator, very easy to get off. I don't even have to bring this down, but let's say for uh, a fact we need to bring it down, let's take a closer look. As you can see right here, we have this attachment point. And all you have to do is undo this. I'm still holding one hand on the bike, but with the other hand, I'm easily able to move that down move this out of the way and now you have a little bit more room whenever you're wanting to lift it up and off put it down and now you're ready to go on our bike ride so now that we have the bike off we can take a closer look at the way the wheels are being held in place as you can see we can actually move this strap back and forth from here to right here if we need to in case you have longer bikes or shorter uh, bikes so it's very easy to put these back in place and we've got these grooves to hold your wheels a little bit more in place. Now, whenever you're wanting your mask out of the way, all you have to do is put it right here with the strap. And this is going to hold it in place and keep it out of the way. So whenever getting measurements in this position, it's always good to get ground clearance and how far it's going to come back off of your vehicle. So whenever you're backing up, you will know what you're working with. Now, with this being a smaller bike rack, it actually doesn't come out that far. It is going to come out about 25 and a half inches, which isn't too bad. And whenever it comes to ground clearance, the closest point to the ground from here is 22 inches. So it's still relatively compact compared to other types of bike racks that are in this realm. Now, whenever it comes to other measurements, I'm gonna show you how to tilt this up. All we're gonna do is undo this knob right here. It takes more, no more than a couple uh, seconds to undo that. Put it back in. And then tighten it down. And now, as you can see, it's out of the way where it is compact. And from here, if you need to take it off, this is the position that you would put it, say, uh, if you live in an apartment, you'd put it in one of the closets. Maybe you have a garage. It's gonna stay out of sight and out of mind. And whenever it's on the back of your vehicle, it's only gonna come out uh, 13 inches. And it's also going to be pretty far away from your vehicle as well. For our Gladiator today, it's gonna get I would say that's about six and a half inches, so not even close. Like I have more than enough room. And you can still, if you need to get something, get in the back, bring it down a little bit, and you're not gonna have to worry about as much whenever it comes to touching the back of your vehicle. 
So how does this live on the back of our Gladiator? As you can see, it doesn't take up much space. You can still see out of the back of your rear view camera if you need to, though it is going to take a little bit of vision away. You can still somewhat see your license plate, though I will say that if you feel like you need to keep it down so you can see more out of the backup camera and have your license plate more visible, that's something that you can do. Along with that, both of your signals are not even close to this, so they are going to be nice and visible for anybody that's behind you. Now, whenever it comes to the hitch, you can see that it is a one and a quarter inch shank and is going to have an adapter right here that's going to be able to be used with two inch shanks. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a sedan or something that does have that smaller hitch size, you're gonna be able to use that in between, which gives it a little bit more versatility. Along with that, it's going to have an anti-rattle bolt and this locking system right here. Now, as you can see, let me pull this off. This locking system has two keys that come with it and it has a dust cover, which is really nice, especially if you're going off some dusty trails, you're gonna be able to cover that up, put it back on and not have to worry about it. Along with that, the anti-rattle system makes it where it's going to protect your bike rack and your bikes as you're going down, let's say, a. Uh, little bit of a rockier terrain. As you can see, it's going to move along with the bike as you jostle and shake. Now my final thoughts on the Hollywood destination is if you are wanting a entry level, more affordable platform style bike rack, this is a great one to go with. It does what it needs to and it does it relatively well. So as you can see, it has a couple bells and whistles that is missing, uh, including the tilt away. So if price is not as important to you, I would check out the Kuat Sherpa. It's going to be around the same weight capacity, a little bit more, but it's also going to have tilt away, uh, is going to have a couple other bells and whistles you won't see with that. But if you're wanting an entry style, this is a great one to go with. And that was a look at the Hollywood Destination 2 Bike Bike Rack on our 2021 Jeep Gladiator. My name's John. Thanks for watching.